friends I hope you are all very well it is another sunny beautiful summer's day and it is the 20th of December I can't believe that Christmas is almost here and I'm just processing all the dried lavender I've got a huge amount here that I've been harvesting this spring and summer well basically just spring and been drying it. The stuff that I've harvested so far this month is still drying. Yeah, so these go in my lovely lavender sachets that I sell. And I sold out this year, which is really, really exciting. Um, I do have more in the making for next year, but my shop is closed now. So um, all I've got on there are my knitting patterns which I'm hoping to go through with you all very soon with some ideas for um, quick Christmas toy knits. Um, yeah, so I will show you that very soon. I'm going to chip away at all this lavender because it does take a while to do. I've been listening to some Christmas music while I've been doing it and it's been a very relaxing, lovely time in my kitchen here. Um, I've also had the dehydrator on. I've just turned it off to talk to you right now because it would be very noisy. Um, but I've got some, a few flowers that I want to try dehydrating and I've got oregano and a small amount of peppermint in there, but it's mostly oregano in the dehydrator today. I'm very excited to be able to put the dehydrator on every day and get all the herbs dried and put away for the winter time. I still have quite a bit of um, gift knitting to get done. I'm feeling a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of pressure on trying to get all that stuff done um, but I am hopeful that I will get it done by um, Friday so so yeah I'm just probably gonna have a few later nights than usual um, anyhow I'm going to leave it there for now and I will pop back in soon with all of those gift knit ideas Okay friends, I am sitting in my studio now and I have some items to show you that are quick knits that you can make for your kids or grandkids or anyone really. Um, I also have some items that you could make for adults. So I will show the adult ones first. First is you could make some dishcloths or some face washes. So these are really quick and easy and beautiful gifts to make. My face washes here haven't got their ends in but basically I've done a moss stitched square or seed stitch and then I've just done a crochet edging around it. And these are in cotton. And then my dishcloths I've also done the moss or seed stitch on them and I have a free pattern for these up on my Ravelry. I will put everything I talk about down below so you can find it easily. Um, I have it in Ravelry but if you can't access Ravelry please do contact me and I will be happy to email it to you. So these are a fantastic quick gift to make up and I love to pop a bar of handmade soap along with it and today I will be making up one of these, fixing them up for um, Hazel's piano teacher. So Hazel's got a piano lesson very soon today so I will be popping one of these and a beautiful bar of soap with a you know little ribbon around it to give to her. The next fun idea, now these are just ideas of things that I have personally made um, and focusing mainly on kids gifts of course because I make quite a few things for my kids um, and these are just really quick knits okay so next up for an adult or for anyone a child even too are these stockings. So 
So I've knit these recently. I just knit them while we were watching our family movie and they're really quick to knit up. And then you just have to seam them down here. And I just crocheted a little loop for them to hang on the tree. So that's a great Christmas gift to make. All right, now into the kids' gifts. Now, I have a few Australian animal patterns on my Ravelry and in Etsy as well. They are very popular, um, the most popular being the Wombat. Now, these ones I have here have been used a lot by my kids. I will put a photo of everything I talk about up in um, on the screen. Um, but I will show you these little wombats that I've made from my pattern. So they're just really easy. They are knit flat, but you could adapt the pattern to knit them in the round. Um, I plan to adjust <laughs> the pattern so that they do both, um, but I have not yet. So here they are, little squidgy wombats. And to me, they just depict a wombat completely. And I, there's two sizes in the pattern. So there is an adult and then there is a baby one. So you could make a mama and a baby or a dadder and a baby or an adult and a baby. <laughs> and these ones are hazels. But yeah, I will put a picture up. I also one year I decided to try and make some with little sweaters on and these are Samuel's ones. They kind of look a little bit like guinea pigs really, um, these ones, but they've got little sweaters on them. They're quite funny. So they're Samuel's, you can see their little feet. <laughs> So that's a really, really easy pattern to make. And I think, you know, m most people could knit one of those. My daughter, Charlotte, knitted one with my assistance when she was about eight or eight or nine. Um, so yeah, they can be knit quite easily if you know how to increase and decrease um, and knit and purl. So the next pattern, I will put a picture up on the screen. It is my platypus and the platypus is also knit flat, two pieces and they are sewn together and it is, don't tell the wombats, but it is <laughs> my favorite pattern out of all of the three um, patterns. It's more complicated, but it, it is a really, I just love the way it looks and i um, really, really pleased with how it turned out. So the platypus is one that you could make as well really quickly before Christmas. Another one which takes a little bit longer um, but is also a quick knit is the echidna. And the echidna is quite cute. Um, I really enjoyed designing the pattern and it is relatively quick. The, the, longest thing that is getting all the spikes <laughs> into the top so depends how spiky you want it to be how thick you want the spikes but they do take some time to get um, to put in and with all three of these patterns i have photos of each step i have laid it out really simply and I think that's why these patterns are so popular is because they are just so simple to follow. So I'm just going to pause right here and say that I would love to give all of these patterns to those who have supported me over on Ko-Fi this month. So if you have supported me, I shall send you a message over there and um, I'd love to send them via email to you for free or actually I could send them via Ravelry as well I could give them to you through Ravelry so you can choose which way you would like it to go if you would like to support me over on Kofi I Kofi 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 <laughs> I will send it to you at any point this month um, please do 
go over it's linked in down below you can go over there and send me a donation I really do appreciate all your donations they really really help me bring all these videos to you okay next up is this little cat so I think this cat is called cat in the window or something like that I again I'll link everything below and also put the name and who it's by on the screen um, these cats knitted up really quickly and they're really cute this one's Samuel's that I made for him for um, maybe I made one for each of the kids one Christmas I'm pretty sure I did so that is a really cute and quick knit that you could make another one that doesn't just have to be for a child um, is this little Christmas bear decoration I believe this one is a free pattern and I believe the cat in the window one is a free pattern as well um, so this one is really cute I made one eat for each of my children last year and they really love them and it was really quick to knit up I would probably change the um, ribbon to perhaps like just a crocheted loop or something because it kind of looks a bit funny having this big thick ribbon coming out the top of the head um, but it's a pretty ribbon too though you know um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with that pattern that turned out really lovely uh, lastly is a little rabbit that I made um, Hazel for her birthday um, I think last year and I will put the, the name of the pattern on the screen it is a really cute cute rabbit it is so sweet this one will of course take a little bit longer than the other things I've shown you but it is worth it and it you know you could knit up in an, in, in an evening depending on how quickly you knit um, but it's really sweet it's got a little tail at the back and I made a little handbag for it which of course you could always just knit up a lot of clothes for your kids or grandkids or friends kids um, dolls and little friends that they have because knitting up clothes and accessories is very quick to do and it's always fun to receive those I know my kids love dressing up there or well, they did. <laughs> Hazel's probably the last one to enjoy dressing up her little dolls and animals. And my camera is about to run out of battery so I need to go and take Hazel to her piano and get this gift made up for her teacher. Okay so there are some ideas of what you could make in these last few days <laughs> before Christmas Day. Um, if you're looking for some quick gifts to make up for so there are some ideas of some really quick knits that you could make up in the last four days before Christmas um, now or oh, well, by the time this goes up it'll be three days but I'll try and get this up as soon as possible <laughs> and um, you can get cracking on making thank you all so much for following me on this vlogmas journey I've really really enjoyed bringing you these videos it's been a bit difficult at the start with all the busyness of December but now that it's slowing down I feel like I've got more room and more time to bring um, content content to you so I will be doing a mini knitting podcast of all the items I have knit up to from the last um, episode to now um, on Christmas Eve I will be popping that up here and that will be my last video for the year I think and I will be taking a small break I will be spending lots of time in the garden and I will be doing lots of sewing and a little bit of knitting so I'm looking forward to my break anyway I'm talking like this is the last video now <laughs> I need to pop off now and go and take Hazel to her piano lesson and then I will get cracking on Charlotte's gift that I am knitting 
I am up to the legs. So I'm very excited that I've almost finished. Samuel's has finished, has is dry now, so I can fill that up and um, sew up the hole. Um, and then I will need to get cracking on clothing for their toys. So I'm very excited about those. I can't wait to show you them. I'm going to have a few late nights coming up, I'm sure, to try and finish off these gifts. And man, next year, I need to start earlier. So you need to start earlier. My goodness. Okay, um, I will say goodbye now and enjoy the little snippets of the rest of my day. Take care, my friends. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.